whether it be New Year's, whether it be Thanksgiving, whether it be your birthday, whatever you feel is right for you, go for it. Hi guys and welcome back to Midori's World. It's your girl Midori. Make sure that you guys follow me on my Instagram for my daily shenanigans as well as my podcast called Midori's World. I know that I've been telling everyone to follow it and I know I haven't been posting. I've been having issues with my hosting. I'm transferring it back to my old host which is Anchor and there's been a little bit of issues with my episodes. So I'm just trying to get that all resolved. However, I promise you by next week I will start um just doing my podcast again anyway today guys we are going to be talking about something that's really near and dear to my heart which is vision boards vision boards vision books anything that just revolves around putting your ideas and dreams and goals in one place is something that both beyonce and oprah once had in common it's manifestation and today we're going to be talking about that and I'm going to be talking about what a vision board or a vision book is. Personally today I'm going to be making a vision book. I digress. Let's jump in guys. Now first I want to talk about the elephant in the room which is people's perceptions on vision boards and how to manifest them. Now a lot of you guys are probably thinking that it has to be a vision board for your visions to manifest themselves. However guys that's not true. Recently, many people have actually been making digital vision boards that they can have on their phones, their computers, as screensavers. Some even make vision books like I'm going to make today. So if you can just find a space to put your vision board or just even whether it's on your phone, app or anything, you can still manifest your dreams. What really matters the most when creating a vision board, a digital vision board, etc., etc., is that you're doing it with a peaceful heart and good intentions. Knowing that what you're putting on your board will manifest in the future. So just be patient guys, keep on going on your journey, keep on going on your goal, and everything will work out. Now let's talk about creating. The act of creating one is actually creating a space that displays what you actually want to manifest in your life. When we focus on our visions and our dreams, we can actually expand more opportunities in our life. When we create a vision board and place it in a space where we can often see it, we are essentially doing a sort of visualization exercise throughout our day. Guys, visualization is one of the most powerful mind exercises you can do. According to the popular book called The Law of Attraction, or what I like to call aka the law of manifestation. The way that you manifest the life that you want is by using your thoughts to visualize where you want to be and then working hard to get there. The law of attraction can only happen when you form your entire life experience and it is doing that through your thoughts. Whether you believe it or not, we know that visualization works. Olympic athletes have been using it for decades to improve their performance. And Psychology Today reported that the brain patterns activated when a weightlifter lifts heavy weights are also similarly activated when a lifter just imagines lifting weights. So you might be asking, what's the secret? The big secret to creating a vision board that works is simple. Your vision board should focus on what you want to feel, not just the things that you want. Don't get me wrong. It's great to include material stuff too. However, the board, however, the more your board focuses on how you want to feel, the more will come to your life. My creations, whether it be my self-love videos, my animations or poetry books or anything that I plan on creating in the future, I want you guys to feel the same confident vibes when they come across my brand, my channel, or art. So I put that on my board. The purpose of your vision board is to bring everything on it to life. First, think about what your goals are in the following areas, whether it's relationships, career and finances, home, traveling, personal growth, spiritual growth, 
social life growth, education, and even your health. Just take some time in a calm, still place where you feel calm, safe, and happy and think about it and you'll find something. Now you might be asking, should I have one main vision board or a bunch of small ones in different areas of my life around my place? Fam, it's totally up to you. Whatever makes sense for you in your life, go for it. I personally had one central board that was in my room every day that I could see, but now I'm transitioning to a book because it feels just so much more right for me. Also, mine just randomly fell after my cat kept on playing with it this week. So I'm going to put in a book so that no one gets hurt. And um, yeah. However, I also do plan on putting mini affirmations around my room to be just a little picker upper throughout my day. And also, when it comes to redoing your board, it's up to you as well. Whenever you feel like it's right for you, whenever you feel like this isn't a part of your life anymore, whenever you feel like it is time for a change, whenever you feel like it is time to begin a new leaf, whether it be New Year's, whether it be Thanksgiving, whether it be your birthday, whenever you feel is right for you, go for it. I usually give my vision board a refresh every December to get it ready for the new year. However, some things stay and some things have served their purpose and don't just make the cut to my new one. You'll just know. Now, let's talk about setting the mood for the vision boarding. What I like to do is turn off my TV. I could watch Netflix some other time. Listen to some relaxing jazz music. Maybe put out a candle, clear a space, drink some wine. Even though the stores are closed in New York City, some, thankfully, you know, markets do have like alcohol and wine so thank god thank god for shop right but yeah drink some wine set the tone i also like to make sure that the space that i'm in makes me feel happy makes me feel confident makes me feel safe and a space where my mind just doesn't feel cluttered and i start hi guys so i hope that you guys enjoyed my video i hope your vision boards come out great and amazing like i know they should i love you guys stay safe sweet peas and until next time like make sure to like follow and subscribe bye